Hello ladies and gentlemen, this video will be about the horoscope of this um, hip-hop guy, you know, who is now in the focus of every single media, uh, I mean the alternative media. Um, took me a while to decide, I've, I had this in mind for, for some days, took me a while to decide to analyze his horoscope in front of you, because uh, I noticed, and this is just a matter of experience, I noticed that when there is a horoscope which is considered evil, and when you concentrate too much on this horoscope, it doesn't feel right, you don't feel well. So I was wondering, shall I look at all, uh, you know, at this horoscope, but then I was very curious. And I was thinking, let's see how evil a horoscope looks like. I am not planning to be judgmental, uh, you know, we live in balanced world, there is evil, there is good, such people like him, unfortunately, will always exist. So, um, I will share my screen with you and show you what I saw. Um, just to tell you, maybe this is a good moment to tell you, when there is a horoscope which is known to be of an evil person, person that is not only labeled as such, but is most probably evil, it is really dangerous to look at this horoscope. I tell you, years ago, uh, some, some time, when was this, like a couple of years ago, I had a client who approached me for a reading. He refused to show me his face. I don't even remember his name because it was a couple of years ago. He, sh he refused to show me his face and we had a Skype reading and I I would, wouldn't be able to see his face, which is okay. People can do that. Uh, this is not very rare. It's okay. But I don't re I don't know how he, what how he looked like. I don't even have idea of his face. And something felt very strange. The horoscope was very contradictory. I would say evil, um, most probably. And that night i didn't do cleans i didn't do cleans of my energy after this reading i felt so bad i had nightmares i was i had uh, walks at night uh, screams at night it was it was very bad and i know i would i think in some of the old texts maybe of the vedic indians it was i am not sure i cannot quote because i don't remember but i think it was the in it were the indians who say that this uh, interaction that you have with a person in front of you and with his or her horoscope is very, very, very important and you can exchange energies. And I know especially Indian astrologers who do not want even to face the person they are doing the reading for. They would only, this is again, not to really um, interact directly with the energy but you already interact with the energy when you read the chart i can tell you but there are many people who many astrologers especially i'm sure it is more um, of from the vedic astrologers who absolutely do not want to face uh, the person they're reading for and they do this exactly not to have energy problems but again this is not enough already when you read the horoscope you are connecting anyway it is good to make cleans after everyone or at least after you interact with person who you see is not on the light side so uh, i have the horoscope of uh, sean combs i think didi I had no idea what for music he's doing. I never listened to this music. Today I was curious, my God, <laughs> to something very, very strange. Uh, his horoscope, 4th of November, 1969, no time. We don't have time. He's born in, in New York. We don't have time. Of course, rectification can be done, but it's not needed, it's not worth it. It is, takes a lot of time, lots of time. We can, um, of course, always see some of, event, some of the events which happened in his life and we can do rectification, but I don't want to do that, at least for this horoscope. Anyway, I felt that this introduction is needed in case that you are um, 
interested in case that you are researching horoscopes of people be careful which horoscopes you analyze okay let me share my screen with you i'm deciding to call this video horoscope of pure evil for the reason that what we hear about this guy is terrifying terrible terrible uh, i will show you what i see now let me share my screen with you This is the horoscope of this guy shown something called Didi. Now uh, we don't know anything of his ascendant. We can derive the horoscope from the moon. But I will just speak of certain placements which are um, I consider very important. We of course do not have ascendant degree and we will start with the moon. The moon is in the 15 degrees of Leo. I tell you one thing, um, the master being Seduno is having very interesting, I think not himself, but some of his uh, students now um, issued, it, was, it is not now of course, it was approximately 100 years ago, but um, there are a few books of his uh, students and they describe the position of Leo and Leo on a key position usually, not always, is related to a royal uh, power of, of the past life of the person. Like if you have Leo on a very significant place, moon in Leo, Leo on the ascendant, or sun in Leo even, the person was most probably uh, on a royal position, like kingship position. And uh, this guy Didi he has the moon in the 15 degrees of Leo and this is in the vicinity of the star Zosma which is the star of the occultists oftentimes astrologers would have this star Zosma on the key position in their horoscopes so um, occultism occult actually doesn't have mm, mm, bad meaning it means hidden Occult simply means hidden. You can hear this term also in the medicine. So this term is not by by no means. This term has negative um, meaning, but it means um, occultism. It means hidden. And the moon is in this occultistic degrees in the vicinity of the star Zosma, not exactly conjoined. And this moon actually would say that he is very much connected to esoteric knowledges like uh, astrology or others of course we would know more if we knew his ascendant but the moon is already speaking a lot the moon then is conjoined uh, Ketu the lunar note which is showing the past what was the person's experience ex experience or talents or expertise from past lifetimes Leo again and conjoined the nebula. The nebula is a star of astrology, it's a star of um, esoteric sciences, and there could be many. This guy was into this, he came with such expertise, and he's applying his occultism, in, not in benevolent way, according to what we hear. Not because they speak about uh, uh, dirty rituals and so on, and so on, and so on. But this comes because he came with such knowledge. He has experience from past lifetimes related to the same. This is from the, the, the position of the moon and we can speak more about the moon in a moment. The moon also has applying aspect. The moon is applying to aspect with the sun. This is very strong, ladies and gentlemen, because the sun is in the most powerful, prominent degree in Libra. Libra has one constellation called the Northern Crown. This constellation is uh, very powerful in terms of talents, in terms of visibility. People who become visible with their own efforts, talent, knowledge, expertise, would have planets conjoined one of the most mm, shiny the shiniest star the star with the highest magnitude in the constellation of the northern crown and this star is called gamma 
I can tell you, person with this star on ascendant, I re this is what appears immediately in my mind. I know somebody with this star on the ascend star on the ascendant. The guy is very talented, wealthy with his own. He he didn't um, inherit any fortune from parents or from ancestors. He, he was is just a very talented person, and with his own talent, uh, he became also very wealthy. So. This guy, Didi, has the sun conjoint gamma. He's talented. I personally don't like his music. I even find it terrifying. But <laughs> the the star gamma is say, is described like a star who, which makes you visible with your talent. So obviously, some people, um, I don't say this is bad, but you know, some people will appreciate. Uh, his music or his other um, artistic talents. So this is about the star Gamma and also let's not forget the Sun is this positive of the Moon. It means the Sun is ruling the Moon and the Moon is applying to the Sun. This is very strong. Uh, this is very Leo-like situation. It means that uh, he will reach, he reaches a rank in society and obviously among some people, among some people he reached he, he a rank, he has position, he has power, he's influencing others, he's handler of others and this I don't need to tell you because uh, internet has him all over the place, even too much already. So also you will notice that the sun is conjoined Mercury and I will tell you Mercury in his horoscope became visible on the day of his birth. This is extremely powerful for wealth and also for his brains. He is very smart. That is he otherwise how would how could he manage to uh, manipulate so many people he's not stupid whether this is a um, beautiful mind probably not because the mercury is receiving is, is forming square to mars and mars in capricorn is very strong exalted so he has exalted mars and mercury is forming a square to mars i will give you one example it is not very rare to see, for example, conjunction between Mercury and Venus. It is not rare. And I can tell you, Mercury is ruling our mental capacities. He's ruling our intellectual mind. You know that. He's Hermes. He's Nabu. Nabu is ruler of um, the knowledge of the, of the writing system. And Mercury being our ruler of our mental capacities, when conjoined with Venus, especially when they when both are well placed, not afflicted, you will recognize this by people seeing people who have beautiful minds, really beautiful minds, creativity, but in a beautiful way, beautiful minds. They will come up with good, kind ideas and stuff, not ugly, dirty minds. But when uh, there is heavy affliction and you can see now look his mercury is squaring exalted saturn and is making exact op in absolutely exact to a degree opposition with saturn and saturn is in a phase which is very specific this phase is called cosmic setting this is a special astronomical phase and um, I will not describe it now, but I will tell you this phase makes Saturn bad. And there is a T-square afflicting his mind, which is Mercury. This T-square is uh, between Mercury, you see exalted Mars and fallen Saturn. And his Saturn is totally overpowered by Mars because uh, Mars is very very strong and Mars is ruler of Saturn and Saturn is ruler, ruler of Mars so both of them are forming what we call in astrology mutual reception look Mars is in the house of Saturn Saturn is in the house of Mars this is 
mutual reception very 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 strong aspect and in addition mars is exalted which makes him very strong and saturn is fallen which makes him unhappy and weak and also saturn is in the phase cold cosmic setting this astronomical phase for saturn is not good really not good for many reasons this makes saturn even angrier than he would have been if he was solely uh, fallen. He is fallen plus he is in a phase of cosmic setting. And you see two planets in a square uh, This is, and in mutual reception the two malefic planets. And the two malefic planets are opposing his sun and opposing his Mercury, his mind. So let me tell you how I see this. This is very specific, specific situation, not often to see in the horoscopes. If we knew the time of birth, we would have known more. But I will tell you one thing. I think he is born at night. And I, if I would make his rectification, I would depart from there, I would say. Because the guy did evil things which have sexual uh, nature, mostly, but not only. That's why his Mars is probably more powerful than his Saturn, not only because Mars is exalted, but also because Mars is more powerful in a night horoscope. So Mars is, um, you see, exalted, and this Mars is totally ruling his mind and his Saturn, because Mars is dispositor of Saturn and Saturn is not well placed. With this Saturn, I, ha I didn't read his biography because I didn't want to connect more, even more and more and more with his energy. I connect already enough and I connect you <laughs> by watching his horoscope. But with this Saturn, very surely he had a very, very bad relationship with his father. We can assume that his father was abusive to him because Saturn in cosmic setting in a night horoscope is very very bad so the, the, he had very abusive father i am almost 100 percent sure now um also mm, you know with uh, this very saturn opposing uh mercury he was under the influence of handler like he's a handler of others most probably this was his father and later on maybe this was another authoritarian um, figure or um, father figure or something like that or another strong figure and also this figure was deciding on his rank because there is also opposition to the sun in general saturn moon opposition is something which the uh, na the you know something which the ancients describe like uh, and the native will um, lose the um, domain or the property which he inherited from the father for example or uh, there is this is opposition of losses so um, most probably he had certain losses but then he managed to grow his own you know um, fortune fortune property real estate we saw his uh, houses and yeah of course this was expected nothing surprising here then what about his talents he has jupiter venus conjunction in virgo in speaker see very sad because this conjunction in speaker is good he really is talented, but he is under the influence of somebody. Maybe uh, because I'm sure that he, his music, I listened only to one of his uh, songs and I couldn't listen to the end. But I'm sure uh, that there are hidden um, messages and attempts for manipulation of the masses in his music. This is 100% so. And it is a shame to be so because he otherwise is a talented guy, very, very talented because of uh, the, the star Gemma, heavily afflicted, like he's talented, but he's also 
afflicted like he is talented but he is not allowed and he was never allowed freely really freely naturally to develop his talent he was absolutely mm, suppressed like they would tell him what to sing maybe how to dance maybe how to dress what types of signals and symbols and messages to show to those you know to the young people in order to brainwash them and so on so on so he was under heavy influence which started with his father i tell you i'm sure I have no idea who his father is, but I look at his horoscope. Also, um, he has talent for a second reason, and this is Uranus, Jupiter, Venus conjunction in Speaker. Speaker is the most beautiful star. No, Uranus is not in Speaker, I'm sorry, but the triple conjunction is in Virgo. Only Jupiter and Venus are in the vicinity of Speaker. Speaker is such a beautiful star that when you see speaker placed like his speaker is, people are very talented with beautiful speech, with beautiful wording, with beautiful. Mm, they're just talented and, and they're good, good people. But you see this big T square between his Mercury, Mars, and Saturn. So if he is manipulating now some be sure that he is manipulated by others like he's not on the top of the pyramid he somebody else is dictating him this is also also logically i don't have to look at his astrology to tell you this because you probably you probably understand it yourself but just you see it from his saturn really really this is absolutely 100 percent so but he's talented you see jupiter venus conjunction yeah uh, you know there is a version in the vedic astrology that jupiter and venus are not friendly when together but i can tell you according to the traditional and to the babylonian astrology this is considered a very good conjunction the two um, the two benevolent planets together this is considered very good and it's given even more beautiful essence of speaker uh, like rich beautiful talent very talented in multiple ways most probably he has good speech or at least he has his eloquent but the choice of words comes from mercury uh, mars square so uh, i don't know about that could be that he this manipulative uh, behavior is um, because of that you know because of mars um mars mercury but i can tell you people who have mars saturn square and especially his very very strong square because of the mutual reception because of the cosmic setting of saturn so such people are very strong very strong because this is conjunction of difficulties he had difficulties we cannot think even for a moment that because he is a musician because he has his uh, big houses that his life is, was easy. No, he uh, went through um, abuse, um, many, many difficulties. This is surely so, especially when you have Ketu with the moon and when we derive the horoscope from the moon, um, in, in his early childhood, he has difficult time. This is not excusing him from being abusive to other people and children. This is not excusing him, just telling you what I see. So this is very important thing. Then uh, the lot of fortune. See the way he makes money. The lot of fortune. You see this point here. Let me show you this. You see. So this is the lot of fortune which is derived from the position of the sun and the moon, and is showing how somebody makes money. What is the overall condition of the body? Lot of fortune. Twenty six degree of. Uh, 26 degree of Libra is conjoined another star in the constellation and also on a mid heaven wouldn't be right because we don't know the time of birth but anyway the lot of fortune uh, in the vicinity of one of the stars from the constellation of the northern crown shows that he will make money through art and visibility being visible being popular yes being popular and this comes also from the fact from what i just started with moon applying to the sun in addition his rahu the head of the dragon because i just described the 
uh, tail of the dragon, the head of the dragon is in the 24 degrees of Aquarius. So he wants to be original. He really wants new, new, new. He is not satisfied with the classical, with the traditional. He wants new, 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 new things to try to do. Um, and yes, this is uh, very, very also important. Then just briefly, why, why just only now, after so many years of um, abusing others and whatever, what else, you know, other things, why now, now, now he became suddenly so visible? Every, uh, you know, alternative media is dealing with him. Why is he now arrested? Now, well, many reasons. We can imagine if. Um, you know, his ascendant, let's say, is ruled by Venus. And all these eclipses take place for this entire year in Virgo Pisces. One of the reasons could be that the, the eclipses are afflicting his ascendant ruler. Or if the way I now made the chart, imagine if, let's say, Sagittarius is ascendant again, his fallen, weak ascendant ruler, Jupiter, is afflicted by eclipses. This could be a trigger, but not only. We don't know exactly the time of birth, otherwise we would have known uh, in what, which ruler, which planet is ruling his life cycle now, and then we know when is he, let's say he's in a Saturn cycle, his Saturn is fallen and can produce everything, arresting and problems because of the square which Mars is causing to Saturn. So uh, also I can tell you uh, during the last two years before October of 2023, the eclipses took place on the axis of Libra Saturn heavy affliction on his son, his fame, his rank, and also on Saturn himself. And if he is in a Saturn cycle, this is devastating. And now look what will happen. In the summer, in the spring of next year, he will, re he will have a return of the nodes, which means the future eclipses will take place on his moon, on his Ketu, on his Rahu. And this would be difficult. I think he will go deeper and deeper into problems. And then, because he is not on the top of the pyramid, somebody else is um, afflicting him, because I remind you of his Saturn. I think they use him, could be that they use him now, they made him so visible on purpose, maybe to hide some other agenda that they are uh, practicing now, we don't really know exactly, but such major events should not shift our attention to the event, but we should not lose the focus on the main picture, just to tell you, because maybe this is orchestrated, not that the guy is good, not that, but could be that this is really orchestrated event for us not to be, to lose the, uh, you know, the idea of what is really is going on. But uh, I expect that uh, he will go into deeper, deeper trouble later on. Um, yes, this is, <laughs> So, also let me remind to you, uh, on 18th of June of this year, Uranus entered Taurus, and this is squaring his moon. When the square becomes very exact, this is also not very easy for him. So there are many, uh, many options why he became now now I tell you, for me, it I heard about him now. Now I I understood that in March the police entered his house. But I heard, maybe because uh, I don't live in, in the States, but I heard just very recently, suddenly, suddenly, the guy is very popular. I cannot say right now for sure why, when I don't have his uh, time of birth, but I tell you what are the options for him becoming now, now that popular. So, yes, this is not a horoscope of a good person, but... This is a horoscope of somebody who is also a victim, ladies and gentlemen. He is a victim. Somebody made him not a good person. So, well, this is it. All the best to you. Bye-bye. <laughs>